I guess you would have already logged into the console provided on the web uh, on our code playground. Now let's start verifying the environment and familiarizing ourselves with the environment. Executing Ruby minus V will give the version of the Ruby installed. In our case, it is 1.9.3. And executing Rails minus P will give the version of the Rails that has been installed, 3.2.3. And now we'll be creating a lot of applications uh, in the course of the tutorial. So let us make a directory Rails underscore tutorial underscore apps to store all our applications in one uh, directory. So using the mkdi command and let's uh, cd to that directory. Now let's start creating the first application using the rails new command rails new rails underscore app one does start creating the new application rails underscore app one is the name of the application and it can be pretty much anything you want the first thing it does it will start creating a directory named rails underscore app one and then it will create some other directories and files inside rails underscore app1. After it does that, it starts executing bundle install. Now, at this point of time, the console may get stuck a little bit depending on your internet connection. Uh, don't get alarmed, it'll, it'll start and work pretty much fine. Now, basically what bundle install does, it fetches some gems from rubygems.org and install, installs it on your system. A gem is nothing but library files. Somebody has written it and you're going to use it. Now, the Rails new command has learned and you've got the console pack. Now, what we'll do is we'll cd to rails underscore app one and then run the Rails server inside that directory. Basically now the server is running at uh, this location 0.0.0.0 colon 3000 and uh, now we can open the browser and look at the output of the application which is built. So the output of the application we built uh, will be like this. Uh, I would encourage you to build it using the console we provided on the web and look at the output on the output window which is on the right side of the code playground.